Good morning, guys. Oh, forgive me, my voice is going again. I think it's the aircon. Silly me. Shouldn't have been using the aircon so much. It's just me. Uh, maybe some of you guys are saying, well, maybe I'm just too sensitive to aircon or it was too strong. It's messing up my, getting a chest cough. And also, you know, cigarettes are too cheap here. It's nasty. You know, I quit smoking, but it's very hard here because, you know, so affordable. Anyway, uh, last time was great. Hit the clubs, you know, checked it out. Walking street. It's not really my thing, so I wouldn't do it again. And just waiting for Seth and Lynn to get up. Uh, I think they had a late start. You know, we got home late last night. Just got some money changed. Exchange rate was falling for the Australian dollar. US dollar is pretty strong at the moment. But you can't count on that, guys. It's just a snapshot in time. They always fluctuate. <clears throat> if you're staying here long term, sure, you keep an eye on it. And if you're transferring money electronically, sure, you keep an eye on it to try and get an exchange rate gain. But, you know, you can't really count on it. You gotta live, you know, you gotta buy food, pay the bills. So, I tell people, don't worry so much about it if you've got things to do. Uh, what else? I've noticed, guys, just a quick summary. This is just my experience. Obviously, yours will be different. But I've noticed, especially here in Angeli City, Philippines, people don't really... I've, I've noticed older foreigners don't want to talk to you. They, they, like, you know, I try to be friendly, whatever. They don't want to talk to you. They, they don't want to know you. They're doing their own thing. Maybe because they're here for a couple of months or they've been here a couple of years, trying to enjoy retirement, who knows. But I just found that they don't want to know you, maybe because I'm younger too. <clears throat> the younger guys are usually idiots. I'm sorry to say that, but a lot of the younger guys we bumped into, some may be cool, but there was an altercation last night. We had a great night, we went to the clubs, we were just trying to get some takeaway food to come back home. And this, you know, there were these three young American guys acting like idiots, not all young. One was maybe in his 20s, one was in his 30s, and one looked like he was in his 40s. Um, you know, they didn't tell me their ages, but that was the problem. They didn't tell me their names, they didn't tell me who the, where they were from. I was like, hey, where are you guys from? You know, like, you sound American. What are your names? They wouldn't tell me. But, um, and I'd bought some uh, souvenirs. They're basically horn, horn or wood uh, looking swords, like little machetes that have carvings in them. And you, you guys would have seen the pictures uh, in the previous video. But the point is, <clears throat> and they're really cool, like the ornamental. I was just holding them low by my side because I was trying to get back to the hotel. I don't want to walk around all night with that. So I realized I was drawing attention, but they will coming up and they're trying to get them from me and like, you know, hey, give them to us. We want photos and all this stuff. And I get it, but I was like, yo, guys, I don't know you. I'm trying to be nice. You can tell me your names and you can tell me where you're from. And um, I just got this, you know, probably just me, you know, probably just me, I was probably wrong, but I got this very weird feeling. I've only had it a few times traveling. Like when you feel something is really wrong and you got to move, you got to get out of there. So I just did, I said, hey, bye guys. And I excused myself and got out of there. And um, as I said, maybe I was wrong, but usually whenever I get that feeling, something, it was something bad coming, you know, like it was, it was time to get out of there. Because they wouldn't tell me who they were, you know, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so as I said, your experience may be totally different, probably will be. But I've just found dealing with other uh, expats or travelers has just been a bit weird in Angela City, probably because of the red light. And we were in that red light area, uh, walking street. So what do you expect? That's why I try to stay away from it. Stay away from that sort of thing. It's just not me. You know, I understand some people come here just specifically for that. But yeah, so don't get me wrong, Angela City's been awesome in regards to catching up with Tok Tok Kali and Lucas, you know, friends. Uh, just in front of the hotel. Uh, obviously meeting Seth and Lynn, you know, so actually meeting the friends, hanging out, spending time, that's been the best part for me. And of course, new experience, you know, in a new, new city for me. Yeah, what? like, um, the, the club was pumping last night, guys. You know, so you would have seen the video, it was pumping, but so many foreigners, young and old, in the club. So that was cool, it was pumping. You know, if you're into nightclubs, but I was just like, yeah, this is cool. Like, like we had a great night, but it's not like I would go there every night. You know, not like I do it again. Okay, guys, another update. <clears throat> I'm sorry about it, what I said earlier about young guys being idiots. Obviously, I'm a young guy, and we're not all idiots. But it's just that, yeah, just it, uh, excuse me, my voice. Just had a bad experience last night. That's all. Uh, I was talking to one of the waitresses, and um, you know, she, she probably didn't want to be on camera saying this, but. She was saying um, she herself and a lot of the girls, they don't want to go to high society. So that's the nightclub we went to last night. Okay, high society. And it was pumping, that was the pumping club. You know, a lot of young foreigners, a lot of older foreigners too, but just so many foreigners. But the girls there, I reckon, are 90% freelancers. 
And it was just funny because we'd, we'd hang out with some girls, just chat, like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, like, stand next to them, dance next to them. Usually they'll call. And then after a little bit, like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, they feel comfortable and they might give you the proposition. You know, whether it's, hey, let's get out of here, or hey, you know, you're looking for some extra action tonight. And, um, and that's why a lot of the local girls, like the, the, the more decent or respectable girls don't go there. They don't want to be treated like a freelancer. Don't get me wrong, they could be. They just want to go dance, have some fun. And also, usually their boyfriends won't let them because if they've got foreign boyfriends or local boyfriends, they know what goes on in high society. So, you know, that may interest some people, may not. But yeah, that was interesting. And she, she was telling me her experience, you know, working on Walking Street, just as a waitress. And she's like, you know, uh, the, it was actually more the, the owners, the owners and the managers would hit on her or the other staff trying to sleep with them. So, I mean, I guess it's just me because if you see my other videos, again, excuse my voice. You know, I like the more the, the, the touristy activities, you know, doing tours, island hopping and all that. So I guess maybe just wrong fit for me. I understand what happens. You know, some people, they come here and they want to get the job done. You know, I understand. So maybe that was just part of it where I'm, you know, I'm not getting along with the other, the other uh, foreigners here because, you know, they're not particularly here to be friendly like me and make friends and hang out and go do tours and whatever. <laughs> they're here to, you know, boom, 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 get that action, you know. Uh, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's a different type of tourism though. That's all. So I guess maybe just bad fit for me. But like I said, you know, sorry if I offended anyone. I'm wearing this awesome shirt because I, of the laundry day. So I took off my other shirt because it was dirty and put it in the laundry. And I want to wear my new cool shirt from Clark Mountain Firing Range. And uh, yeah, just chilling out. I had just, just got some rest, just got some more bed rest. As you can tell, there's no point in me going out doing things if I'm just going to get more sick. Now I'll just give him another update. I was talking to a very nice American gentleman, a uh, really cool guy. He seemed a bit timid, so, you know, and probably didn't want to be interviewed on camera, but the point is, he's saying he's been coming to Angelis for 20 years, and it's changed so much. 20 years ago, he said, uh, you know, girls, you could, I'm just gonna say what he said, right? It was what he was saying, and he seemed like a decent guy, like we had a good conversation. Uh, he actually lives in Japan. You know, he, work, he lives and works in Japan for like the last 12 years. Forgive my voice, guys. And um, so he knows Asia, he's been to Thailand, you know, he's been around, he's probably, I think he's been to Australia, I'm not sure. And he knows my accent. So that's why he came over to chat, he goes, oh, you're, you're Australian. And he said, you know, how do you find out it's your first time, blah, blah, blah. And he was saying, man, 20 years ago, you could pick up a girl for 500, 500 pesos. And he was thinking of inflation and the exchange rate, but you know, that's just what he said. And um, beers were around 25 pesos. Now that's just not realistic because even if you buy a beer for cost, it costs 40 pesos these days, like from San Miguel factory. But I saw his point. They were saying, you know, 20 years ago, sure, it was much cheaper. Uh, girls, he, this is what he said. He said, girls will stay all night. I'd stay with you, give you the whole girlfriend treatment. Many, they'll stay with you. Um, you know, take good care of you as, as for as long as you want. Where now, uh, this is what he was saying, man. He was saying that she's charging anywhere from you know 2,000 to 3,000 pesos. You just say 2,500 pesos, somewhere in the middle. Um, they want to leave as soon as possible. They come, they do the job, and then they leave as soon as possible. They want to get out of here, you know. <laughs> you know, they just want to get that money and go. So it's getting more and more commercialized, uh, similar to like Thailand. And we're talking about that too. And he said it's just, it's just a business down here, so. He had like a connection in Angeles, like just where he's really liked it. He's been coming here for the last 20 years. And he's just like, man, it's just going downhill. That was just what he said, okay? I respect him and his experience. So he must have been around 50. He didn't look at, you know, he looked maybe 40, but you know, we're just with the timeline he was talking about. Okay, just to help you guys understand. So I'm glad I had a chat to him. And I, I can see, you know, even the things I was mentioning earlier about how, um, you know, it's not really a place to come and socialize and make friends and be all touristy. You know, it's a business. You know, so you come down here, you do your thing and then you go. Whether you work here or whether, you're, you know, you're visiting here. But anyway, like he had, he had a lot of good things to say, you know, as, as in uh, good travel tips and just good history. Very nice, like you tell, it's a very nice gentleman. We talked about technology and stuff too. But yeah, just thought that might be interesting. All right, thanks for watching guys.